Hi everybody, John here from All Miniatures Great and Small, and today is an exciting day. Today, my Drop Fleet Commander Kickstarter rewards have finally arrived. So, um, this Kickstarter started last year. Um, they're delivering, I kind of watched it come over the pond uh, from the UK here to Arizona, and uh, really excited to open this up. So, go ahead and you can see it's a, it's a rather um, large box. 10 kilograms of plastic and resin goodness. So we're going to go ahead and open it up and see what Hawk has sent us. Now you guys probably um, know that I've already done an unboxing of the two-player starter set because I couldn't wait for the Kickstarter to arrive. Um, and I've made a build video and an assembly video. So this we're going to be um, looking at some of the same components but this is obviously set up a little bit differently all right so we've opened up the box what do we have here um, first thing is we've got a drop fleet commander shirt extra large very nice looks like a UCM battleship right on the front there very cool I believe that was a Kickstarter reward. Then we have this, which is Modular Space Station Assembly Guide. It looks like it's got a bunch of bases, stands. So I'm assuming all of this is for the space station. And of course, we'll be opening these up to take a closer look at them. After we get everything out of the box, a sheet of um, maneuver dial or, or stands. All right, well, there's a lot of plastic in here. So we'll start here. This looks like it might be the Chaltari starter set. rather big bag looks like a mix of things we've got a UCM cruiser sprue there's some Shaltari frigates it looks like on this side so we're gonna have to open this up and and sort now this is a Commodore level pledge so basically it was four um, starter sets plus the rewards plus some battle cruisers um, and some extra bolt-on uh, rewards. There's a, another heavy cruiser or cruiser by itself. This looks like PHR. Maybe a bag full of PHR. Bag of Scourge. This bag, particular bag, is going to my buddy Sam. Shout out to Sam. We've got, looks like, a UCM starter set, cruisers, probably frigates under there. All right, keep going. We've got, this must be a battle cruiser because I see a resin piece here. So it looks like a couple of cruiser sprues with a, a resin upgrade part. Uh, Scourge Battle Cruiser, I'm assuming. There's a resin piece for that. Some resin parts. This must be the UCM Battle Cruiser. There's resin parts for it with a UCM Cruiser sprue. So it looks like all the Battle Cruisers are primarily Cruiser sprues with resin upgrade, which is pretty much what we expected. This looks like a PHR, PHR battle cruiser. Yes, I, I got one of each. <coughs> then he, all right, so this bag looks like it's got uh, some frigates in it. Uh, maybe the civilian liner there. Looks like a pin, activation cards. And cool. 
<laughs> a giant bag of bases. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine sets of bases. That's a lot of bases. All right, then uh, delving further into the box. Looks like another, uh, oh, I think I may have ordered one of these uh, civilian liner. I don't know why I ordered those. Now I have two of them. Let's see, some more activation cards. It seems like a lot of activation cards. Uh, another civilian liner. Well, I don't know how many civilian liners I ordered. Uh, here's a bunch of Hawk widgets, the clear acrylic rods, dice, and the tape measure. So everything in the two-player starter set. Uh, oh, here's the uh, assets. I think this was a bolt-on. It wasn't a Kickstarter reward. These are the assets, which are basically fighters, bombers, and torpedoes, I think. Then... An envelope. So this has some of the stuff that comes in the two-player starter set, plus probably the uh, fleet boxes. I like that's the uh, PHR assembly. These activation cards for the starter sets. The fast play sheets, I believe these are called. One for the UCM. Scourge. Oh, lots of stickers. Very cool. All right, so that's all the paper. Now here's the fast play sheet for the the PHR. It's folded in half, I imagine, to fit in the the starter fleet box. All right, so that is the paperwork, and then it looks like the last thing is the manual with the maps the starter maps attached to the back. Which looks like the same exact setup they had in the um, two-player starter. But let's take a look. So that is the, uh, the rule book. It comes in a nice sleeve to protect it. And more UCM stickers. Scourge stickers. Oh, so this is the contents of the two-player starter set. You've got the fast play sheet for the UCM and Scourge, so you've got a couple of those, uh, and all the tokens from the two-player starter set, plus the two-player starter set map. I wonder if I could piece together the four that I have now and make a bigger playing area. So there you go. That's the contents of the box. We're going to go ahead and kind of sort through everything and then come back and uh, show you uh, totals of what we've got here. All right, I'm off the tripod because I couldn't get far enough away to show the whole table once I spread everything out. I've got a lot of uh, stuff in the box. We'll start with the boring stuff over here. We've got bases, lots and lots of bases. This is all bases except for the um, launch asset pack and I'll show you guys this. I'll probably do a separate build video with just uh, these. Maybe a painting guide. Let me know down below if you'd like to see that. I'm assuming those are fighters. That's one of those big giant torpedoes. Those must be the bombers. Very cool and there are two frames in the set um, and I believe that was a bolt-on so it wasn't part of the Kickstarter rewards it's something you paid for extra um, then we have a bag of just the uh, Hawk widgets and the plastic uh, rods as well as the uh, dice and 
tape measure in there and that's pretty much all standard Hawk War Games fare. Then I don't know if I ordered them and just wasn't thinking but somehow I ended up with three of these uh, asset uh, or activation decks and I know I don't need three. I also ended up with three uh, liners and I think I might have ordered these. I don't know why I would have ordered two and got one free. I don't, I don't know why I did that but apparently I did or there was a mistake in packing but I've got three of those so a buddy of mine will probably get that. Then we have the uh, UCM credit, the pin and the dog tag. That stuff's probably going to my daughter because I'm not that interested in that. Then we have the uh, space station. So you have the instructions for the space station and the frames. The space station itself came on four frames. I think they're all identical frames. Um, but it's all modular. I don't know if you can see that. Some of the detail here. Looks very cool. So you can build apparently one big station or a bunch of little stations with that. This was also a bolt-on, so it was extra. I want to say it was like 30 pounds. Something like that. But anyway, lots of plastic in just that uh, section alone. Then over here I've got the, uh, the breakdown of the standard cruiser and frigate sprues. <clears throat> so I ordered one starter set of each with my Commodore pledge. So I have, with the Kickstarter rewards, four uh, cruisers and 12 frigates for the Shaltari and um, the PHR, the Scourge, and the UCM. So four cruisers and 12 frigates. Um, in my unboxing video of the two-player starter set, we looked at the UCM frame and the Scourge frame. The PHR frame looks pretty awesome. I mean, there's lots of juicy detail there. Again, if you guys are interested, we'll do a build video of some of these fine-looking ships. Here are the Shaltari. Very cool looking. Okay, so now coming over here, we've got kind of some of the paper. We've got the maps for the two player starter set. We've got a uh, very thin uh, card for the uh, objectives, the city and debris clouds. You can see it's very thin. <coughs> Same thing with the uh, the tokens, drop tokens. Probably the only thing I can say I'm kind of disappointed in is the quality of these tokens. Very thin cardboard and these tokens are just really sad. So the sooner I can replace those with miniatures or acrylic or something, uh, the better. Then I've got the uh, rule book and that's in its uh, sleeve. Then I've got a giant stack of the sticker sheets. Uh, there's just a whole bunch of sticker sheets. The each sticker sheet for the starter set has names for the ships as well as the the dial stickers. Then I have the fast play sheets uh, and assembly sheets for all of the factions. I've got double fast play sheets for the UCM and um, Shaltari. I mean UCM and Scourge. I've got some starter set um, activation cards. Then over here. And yes, we're finally coming to the end. We have the battle cruisers. So in the Commodore, I think you got to add three extra battle cruisers. I purchased one more so I could get one of everything. I have the uh, this is the Scourge battle cruiser. I'm not going to get it out of the bag. I just don't want to get it mixed. But we can see here the resin parts are in a little baggie inside the baggie. UCM. I forget if this one is the Atlantis, the Kickstarter exclusive. I think it is. It has hangar bays and spots for four turrets on the bottom. But I wonder how that works. It carries four of the big turrets on the bottom, but this sprue only has two big turrets. So 
maybe there's something I'm missing here. And then here we have the uh, PHR Battle Cruiser. This one has big resin chunks. Looks like fins in the hull. Then we have the Shaltari. There's the resin piece there. It just looks like one resin piece, a big chunky part of the hull with all the cool detail one has come to expect from Hawk War Games. And then lastly, we have the other um, UCM Battle Cruiser. I'm a UCM player, so I wanted both. Uh, this one, I believe, has a burn through laser on there. So that's the resin, resin hull. And again, a, a PHR cruiser sprue. And that's it. That is the contents of the starter set. I don't think I can get far enough to get everything in frame at once. But that's it for, not the starter set, sorry, for the entire Kickstarter. They will be joining my uh, PHR fleet, which is currently hanging out on this shelf. And we should have some games soon. So what do you guys get to look forward to on the channel? We will definitely be doing some build videos, uh, maybe another showcase, a painting video, and of course we'll be doing some battle reports as soon as we get enough together to, to make that happen. So there you go guys, that is the Drop Fleet Commander Kickstarter from Hawk War Games. Thanks for watching, give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you like what you saw. Please leave your questions and comments down below and I'll be more than happy to answer them. Keep on gaming everyone and have a great day.